celebrate you we thank you because today is day one of our master key miracle conference because we know you have given us our vest already we know you have handed over the master key that we open every door of blessing unto us thank you because of your word that we come with grace thank you for power thank you for multiplied harvest we give you all the praises in jesus mighty name we have prayed that amen so weak in jesus mighty name we have prayed amen thank you choir god bless you i want you to know what god has spoken and declared this month you will not miss it the lord has declared that the month of february is the month floodgates of heaven and earth are opened unto us floodgates of heaven and earth floodgates of abundance and if that is what heaven has declared it's not left for you to say i must be partakers of this what are floodgates floodgates are large entrances gates that are made in stadium in stadia or large hall event center you see the floor gate open most of the time they are automatically controlled another place where you have the floor gates is where you have water dams it's not common around here but in the west you see some dams and in the north whenever they open the floodgate of the dam you see water gushing out gushing out i remember traveling from ibadan to ife where i schooled my my university anytime we pass people say hey they've opened the dam they opened the dam and as you are crossing the bridge you see mass volume of water passing through the floodgate they pulled up and the water begin to flow so you discover that wherever, whenever floodgate are mentioned it is to allow large quantities either of people or of blessing or of abundance large quantities of something to pass through the floodgate so when god begins to open the floodgate it means you are set for an overflow Oh, it's, it's only me that I said for overflow. I say when God has decided to open the floodgate unto you, you are set for an overflow. Now, because God is the one opening the gate, our focus must be on God. In this month, God is opening the floodgates of heaven and earth floodgate of promotion floodgate of abundance floodgate of souls into the kingdom of god floodgate of increase floodgate of of promotion the level you are by today by the end of this month you will have surpassed that level if you believe it your amen will be the loudest Some people are looking at it, hey, man, they don't believe it. Don't worry, those of you that believe, you share testimony. Yeah. You will share testimony that, yes, I believe the word of God. You must believe the word of God. You are here to see the Lord. You are here to meet him, not to see any man. If it's any man you have come to see, you are already, you have failed. You have come to see the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, and the Lord has said, I am opening the floodgate, floodgate of wisdom, floodgate of favor, floodgate of open doors, floodgate of riches, money. He's opening it. He's got the control in his hands. 
and I want you to set your mind, Lord, the floodgates are being opened unto me in the name of Jesus. I said, there's a floodgate at the large entrances made in buildings or places to allow movement of a large number of people. Entrances made for stadia, event center, or big hall are called floodgates. Floodgate into a city at the passage of people, abundance, and resources. If you go to the scripture, let's go to Malachi 3, Malachi 3, 10 to 11. Bring ye all the tithes into the storehouse, yes. that there may be meat in my house, mm -hmm. and prove me now herewith, fear mm -hmm. the Lord of hosts. Yes. If I will not open you the windows of heaven. Okay, hold on there. Can you read another version? Either NIV or message. That windows of heaven is floodgate, yes? Is there anyone okay. screen? Bring the whole tithe into the storehouse. Yes. Bring you full tithe to the temple treasury. Yes, I want the one that talks about floodgate. Floodgate. If I will not open unto you the floodgates flood of, of heaven. And pour out so much blessing that you will not have Is it there? Have you seen it? Yes. The, Bring okay, the whole that's tithe. the witch with NIV, yeah? Bring the whole tithe into the storehouse. Yes. That there may be food in my house. Mm -hmm. Test me in this, mm -hmm. says the Lord Almighty. And see if I will not throw open the floodgates okay. of heaven. Thank you very much. Floodgates of heaven. God controls floodgates of blessings. You see, from this scripture now, he said, Bring ye all tithe. Bring ye all offering to me. And test me. Some people just say, ah, they want to collect their money. No, we don't need your money. Hello, church. This man you are looking at, I don't need your money. You give your money so it has to help you. Me, I don't need your money. Hey, they say they don't need my money, I keep my money. And then you remain at the same level. I'm telling you the fact. As for me, Aki, okay, I don't need your money. Those watching online, I don't need your money. But because you need to increase from the level you are, release your money for the work of God going on here, so that the floodgate of heaven be opened unto you. Floodgate allow large movement. Maybe the level of money you have been playing around me, you have been playing with 200,000, you have been playing with 500,000, or maybe you is 50,000, or maybe you is 10,000, 20,000. You have been playing with 50,000. But God wants to move you to millions. Is there, is, how is it possible? It is possible. Very, very possible. But you must test God. The Bible says, test me now. So, when God, if you go through the scripture, there is no place that the Bible says you should test him. He said you should have what? Have faith. You want healing? Have faith. You want abundance? Have faith. You want to be victorious? Have faith. But here, did he say we should have faith? He said, test me. You test me. So if you want to command floodgate, begin to test God in what he has said. In your tithe, in your offering, in sowing seed, in seeing people that have need, help them. We read it earlier. Isaiah 58. Those who are oppressed, assist them. Those who need food, give them food. Those in need cloth. I want us to go and gather clothes. You know, we used to do Jesus storehouse, but we discovered some people will come and carry it and go and sell it and pocket the money. So that was why we stopped. They will take clothes, they will not even use it. And they will not give people to help them. They sell it, and they are the first to go there. They pick the good ones. They go and sell it, they collect the money. And they will use it for themselves. That's why we stopped it. But please, at the end of this fasting, we're going to gather clothes again for storehouse. And we will organize how we will send it to those that need it. Any of us also that need clothes to wear, you feel it can be blessing to you. Yes, you can come forward. 
you see my wife about that to receive not for people to take they take good one go and sell they go and sell it collect the money they now use it so the intention we were not achieving it that's why we stopped it but the bible says we should clothe those that need to be clothed we're going to do that when you bring clothes for the jesus stores it is not because those clothes are no more good we announce it they are good people made sacrifices and release their material release their clothes those who are supposed to take one and wear it to glorify god many people will take clothes there you don't ever see them wearing it me and my wife will be discussing but all this, many of those clothes will be people took it but i've not seen any of them wearing it <laughs> we discovered they will go and sell it so we stopped that program but we'll do it again and when those who love it, you have to see my wife. So when you collect and you don't wear it, you return it. We ask you, come, come on, return it. Let's go and give those who wear it. Praise the Lord. But we say, wait, why can we not have faith? Do it and just forget. Close your eyes. That's what spoiled Nigeria up to this place. Do it and just forget. No class monitor. But we are going to have what? Class monitor. <laughs> we are going to have class monitor. So that everybody will do the right thing. So that the vision will not be deviated from. Floodgates. God will open unto you the floodgate this month. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. Thy amen is too weak, church. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. When God was trying to destroy the, the whole earth in the time of Noah. When God wanted to fill the whole earth with water, God opened the floodgate. Let's go to the book of Genesis, chapter 7. Genesis 7, from verse 10. And it came to pass, after seven days, that the waters of the flood were upon the earth. In the 600th year of Noah's life, in the second month, the 17th day of the month, the same day were all the fountains of the great deep broken up. And the windows of heaven were opened. Okay, that portion also used the word floodgate. Read NIV. Okay. NIV. NIV. In the 600th year of Noah's life, on the 17th day of the second month, on that day, all the springs of the great deep burst forth, and, and the floodgates flood of the heavens of heaven were, opened. were opened. Why? God wanted to fill the whole earth with water. Any time God wanted to fill you with Alagdalu Goro, He opens the floodgate. And I tell you this month, I don't know how to say that in English. Alagdalu Goro, the rolling, the rolling riches of the sea. My God is commanding unto you in the name of Jesus. Abu Buton Oro. The riches you can never finish packing. That's a bubuto. You can never finish it. Anytime heaven opens the floodgate, you are due for a great overflow. And that is what God wants to do this month. He's leading you to Alagbalubu, the rolling sea, mass water. This is not water now. Riches of heaven. Is opening unto you in the month of February in the mighty name of Jesus. As we all gather to call upon his name, as you all gather to seek him, as you all stand in righteousness, specially help people this month. What did I say, church? Specially help people this month. Let's go to that Isaiah 58. You must take a definite step to help people even when you are going from your house take some money <laughs> let's start from verse 6 Isaiah 58 from verse 6 is not this the fast that I have chosen to lose the bands of wickedness to undo the heavy burdens and to let the oppressed go free and that ye break every yoke? Is it not to deal thy bread to the hungry, 
and that thou bring the poor that are cast out to thy house. When thou seest the naked, that thou cover him, and that thou hide not thyself from thy own flesh. Then shall thy life break forth as the morning, and thy health shall spring forth speedily, and thy righteousness shall go before thee. The glory of the Lord shall be renewed over thee. As you are fasting, package money. When you are going now, you are going to package some money in your pocket. You will use this to help people. Hey, but many of us, when you are going us, you just say your transport and the money you want to use to buy something. Ah, I don't get money. Let some people not come and talk. No. You have, you take extra to give the needy. You see them. During this week, I was strolling from the house to the school with my tie, though it was a bit, but I, I love appearing in tie. You know, it just makes me look good. True of us. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Praise God. <laughs> makes me look good. And one woman, elderly woman, just say, Daddy, good morning. I've never, I'm not sure I've seen that woman before. Ah, good morning, ma. Good morning, ma. I took some money, I gave it to you. Ah. And she was praying. She was trying to pray in English. The thing didn't flow. She changed to Igbo. So I didn't know what she was saying. I'll just say amen. She was praying so more. He said, Amen. He said, God will bless you. Oh, God will bless. I said, Thank you, my I left. Much elderly. As you are going this month, take money. You say this seed for greatness. That's what we should call it. Seed for greatness. Seed for the floodgate. See people that have me give to them. Hey, but me to have me though, and look at I have to pay school fee. Yes, when you give to those who have me, the Lord will open the floodgate for, unto you. That's what he says. The people are in need, give them clothes, give them food. Of course, you know, mommy, every Sunday she wakes up very early and cooks, bring rice, give security people. In, around our house, come here, give people, give this, do that. She, she's always been sowing that. Because when you give those who need the food, of course you are blessed. I want all of you to invite that, especially this month. You are going to market, you see some people you have been seeing that you can see that they have need. Hey, mama, good morning, just, just have this for market. Hey, mama, just have this for transport. But me, I don't have. What you have is not enough for you. True or false? Most of the time. What you have is not enough for you. To pay house rent, to pay school fee, to do this one, to renovate your house, to, is not enough. Give out what is not enough in exchange for what you can finish. This period, give it out, release it to the master. And the Lord will open the floodgates in the mighty name of Jesus. When you get to a city, when you are in a city, the city obeys the commandment of God. Like Port Harcourt now, there are a lot of abundance in this Port Harcourt. But is it everybody living in Port Harcourt that are living in abundance? No. It is the divine commandment that comes from heaven and activate the land of Port Harcourt in your favor and open the floodgate unto you. Any city that is not all that fruitful, that is not productive, people will not remain there. Hello, church. From the news we just heard that end of last year, end of December last year, 2023, Shell Port Harcourt was sold out. Was sold up. You know, they've been selling this thing long. They sold in worry. They sold. Now they've been planning to sell. This last one they just did. It's just the last bar. They've been selling some in River State. But one thing I was looking at is that they have always been selling. Now they still sold the fine, final batch. 
But people in Port Harcourt are not reduced though. Hello, church. People in Port Harcourt has not reduced. He just tells you that Port Harcourt itself, River State itself, is a is a life, is a land full of abundance. Let's watch it. Let's look at it. This is 2024. Let's give it about five years. In five years, let us see whether this city will become empty since Shell had left. I'm telling you, it will not become empty because the land is blessed. But there are many hungry people, many people that have no home that's in Port Harcourt. Why? It's because the Lord has not commanded the land to yield unto such people. And what God is about to do is to instruct the land to yield unto you. This land will yield unto you. It doesn't matter what people are passing through. It doesn't matter whether Shell has left for Taco or not. In fact, you will build your own house now. Somebody says, since Lee Shell has left for Taco, and we don't know. What He's the one that gives divine commandment concerning riches. He's the one that gives the divine commandment concerning abundance and flood. Ah, he's the one that opens the floodgate. I command the floodgate of abundance to be open unto you in the name of Jesus. I decree anywhere you go in the month of February, riches will follow you in the name of Jesus. Favor will follow you in the name of Jesus. Yes, Shell had left Port Harcourt, but the Lord will command the riches of this land and they will come unto you in the name of Jesus. There are riches and abundance in cities. He just forgot to command it. And it is when you please him, when you align yourself with him, when you align yourself with his purpose, hey, divine commandment shall be issued over your finance. Divine commandment for increase. And that is what God wants to do this month. That the floodgates shall be opened in the mighty name of Jesus. Floodgates of heaven will command city blessings of great abundance, riches, favor, and overflow unto you. There are precious things in every city which made it possible for people to gather and live in that place. You go to Ibadan. They say, but they, they don't have oil, they don't have any, but many people are there. Go to various cities. Go to Enugu. They say Enugu is civil servant, civil servant. Go there, you see high, high, high building, high rise building. Are ah, they doing it? Because there are riches in the land. And that's what the Lord is letting us to know. He commands the riches of that land. He commands it unto his people. If a land is not fruitful, people will not be many there. The land's fruitfulness attracts people of all categories to reside there. We know the story of Jericho. Jericho was a fruitful land until Joshua caused Jericho. When they broke the wall of Jericho and entered, Joshua caused it. And that land was so, was so barren. Things were, things were not growing in Jericho. That was the land, one of the land of Canaan. That was overflowing with riches. But a servant of God, Joshua, placed a curse on it. And the, the land became barren. To the extent that I've told you us before, Prophet Elijah came. Prophet Elijah could not break the curse placed by Joshua. Because he was on that land. People knew Prophet Elijah in that land. They knew he was a powerful man of God. I believe he went to Jericho. I believe Jericho people, they called him. But he too tried, nothing happened. Because he carried one anointing. Single anointing. That's what, that's what Elijah carried. But because God is a master planner, God has planned that somebody will carry double portion of anointing. And when Elisha, the servant of Elijah, came, after he had received double portion of anointing, the first assignment God directed him to go and do 
was to go and lift the cause that Joshua placed upon Jericho. Hello, church. Let's see it in the book of 2 Kings. You just read it briefly, 2 Kings chapter 2 from verse 18. There is an anointing of God today and that will break every yoke in your life. Yes? And when they came... He said unto them, Did I not say unto you, Go not? And the men of the city said unto Elisha, Behold, I pray thee, the situation of this city is pleasant, as my Lord sees, but the water is not, and the ground barren. And he said, Bring me a new cruise, and put salt therein. And they brought it to him. And he went forth unto the spring of the waters, and cast the salt in there, and said, Thus saith the Lord, I have healed these waters. There shall not be from thence any more death or barren land. So the waters were healed unto this day, according to the saying of Elisha, which he spake. Thank you very much. Jericho was one of the land flowing with milk and honey. Jericho was blessed. But when the children of Israel were to enter into Jericho, you know the story of the wall of Jericho that fell down. When that wall fell, and the children of Israel enter, and they destroy the city, they capture the level, and they kill all the people. Joshua plays the cause that nobody must rebuild Jericho. It must remain like that. Devastated, barren, dry. And Jericho's fortune and destiny changed. And that's how they were living. Even when prophet Elijah was there, prophet Elijah could not do anything. That land was still barren. I believe he tried. I believe they went to him. I believe they called him, but he couldn't do it. But the moment Elisha came on stream, Elisha carried double portion of Elijah's anointing. Double portion of grace. Double portion of power. Double portion of revelation. Double portion of angels. Started moving with Elisha. The first thing he did was the elders of Jericho went to him. Look at the land. The land is barren. This one, that one. And he said, take me to the source of water in the land. And he blessed it. And the Bible says, the land was healed. Why was he able to do it? He carried double. And the Lord is giving people double, double blessings today. I don't know how you have been living a life that things have been tough for you. I don't know your prayer life has not been able to overcome the barrier, overcome the harshness, overcome the dryness. I decree there is a double portion of grace, double portion of anointing over you. And that double portion will break the harshness in the name of Jesus. This land will yield increase unto you. This land will yield abundance unto you in the name of Jesus. The floodgates here are opened unto you. The floodgates of increase are opened unto you. The floodgates of abundance, they are opened in the name of Jesus. I command the floodgate, let them begin to yield in the name of Jesus. I want you to know you are special to God and God has engage you. You have, be, you have betrothed to him. The Lord has betrothed you to himself. Let's go to Hosea chapter 2. Hosea chapter 2 from verse 18. And in that day will I make a covenant for them with the beast of the field mm -hmm. and with the fowls of the heaven mm -hmm. and with the creeping things of the ground and I will break the bow and the sword and the battle out of the earth. And will make them to lie down safely. Mm -hmm. And I will betroth thee unto me I forever. I will betroth thee unto me forever. Sorry, hold on. What does it mean to betroth? Is to maritally engage somebody. Sister Ify, I want you to be my wife. That's what I told her. April 21, 1994. I still remember the date. We were calling her Sister Fee, Sister Fee. And I said, Sister Fee, I want you to be my wife. So she agreed. And we got betrothed to each other. Now the Lord is saying, 
I will betroth you to myself. You see, since that time that people knew that she was engaged to me, if she started to wear anyone shoe like this, they say, hmm, hmm, brother king. I said, now me buy everything, but nobody me buy everything. <laughs> but because they knew when we started fellowship, she came from our one other brother from the church came. So the brother was telling her, hey, I will just see brother king all over you. I, I, what do you mean? We've not even married. When the Lord betrothes you to himself, his glory comes over your life. His beauty comes over your life. And, okay, let's read it. Let's continue reading. You are in verse what now? Verse 19 B. 19, yes, start from 19 A. And I will betroth thee unto me forever. Mm -hmm. Yea, I will betroth thee unto me in righteousness and in judgment and in loving kindness and in mercies. I will even betroth thee unto me in faithfulness, and thou shalt know the Lord. Mm. And it shall come to pass in that day, mm -hmm. I will hear, hear the Lord. Mm -hmm. I will hear the heavens, and they shall hear the earth. Mm -hmm. And the earth shall hear the corn, mm -hmm. and the wine, mm -hmm. and the oil, mm -hmm. and they shall hear Israel. Mm -hmm. And I will sow her unto me in the earth, mm -hmm. and I will have mercy upon her that have not obtained mercy. Mm -hmm. And I will say to them which were not my people, Thou art my people, and they shall say, Thou art my God. Amen. Let's shout amen. amen. The Lord said he will betroth you to himself. He will marry you. And when he marries you, he marries you in favor. He marries you in abundance. He marries you in... Uh -uh. You can imagine when you are married to a rich man. Now you drive any car. You live in ACI environment. You can travel on first class to anywhere in the world. Because what? You marry the rich man. And that's what the Lord is saying there. That I will betroth you to myself in righteousness, in judgment, in loving kindness, and in tender mercies. But all this thing, you must know that you must stay connected to God in righteousness. The choir sang the song. Stay connected. You must stay connected. Don't be wise in your own eyes. Many people, they come to church, they are using brain, brain, brain. Hey. So because they love to use brain, to look at, and look at it, and look at, that person say, the, the life of faith has died in them. Everything, they think they must use sense, 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 sense. So they don't even know how to have faith in God. How to pray and believe God has answered. How to pray and believe God will do it. Church, believe God by faith. Not by the people that are your friends. So one person, big woman, big man, now just doesn't want to pick your call again. Your heart is doing as if a God has abandoned you. It's because you trust a man. He said, I will betroth you. That is the best gift you can receive. When the Lord marries you. And he now said, he will hear heavens. The heaven that will now hear the earth. And the earth will now also hear the voice of who? He said, Jezreel, your, which is now your own voice. Because when you are speaking about corn and wine and oil and riches, they now go from here to the earth to heaven and God says, yes. That is what I can hear from that scripture. That's what I can read from you. And it shall come to pass in that day, I will hear, say the Lord, I will hear the heavens, and the heavens shall hear the earth, and the earth shall hear corn and wine and oil, and they shall hear Aki Oke. They shall hear Yemi Olaniyo. They shall hear Sela Stanley. They shall hear me, Pat Osayale. God will hear you because he is betrothed to you. But don't forget it's in righteousness. Not in gossip. Some people are masters of gossip. Hey, did you hear? Hey, did you not shut your mouth? I didn't hear anything. Go away. Go away. You didn't hear anything. Doing Basa Queen. Shut your mouth. Go and look for something. Do business. Make money. 
when you have income coming to you, it brings some level of joy and accomplishment. Not by carrying news about. Align with God. Say, God, your word says you will betroth me to you. I'm ready for you. I will live in righteousness. I will honor you. I will live for you. And this world will come to pass, church. As you are betrothed to him, and in this month, is a month of the floodgates being opened. As you speak to him, Lord, let the floodgate, let the floodgate be open. Open the floodgate unto me. You know what you want? Is it that you want marriage for your children? You want blessings? But let none of you think it's only one thing God can do for you. Maybe something that you have not gotten. All that thing is God has done. You are not seeing it. And this one, and let this my girl just marry. Let this my girl just have a child. Let this my girl just get this one. What of all that things? See all that things that God, God is doing and rejoice. He said, In that day, I will hear heaven. Heaven will hear the earth. The earth also will hear the voice, the voice of, of, of corn and wine be spoken by you so that it becomes it becomes a law your request to god becomes what church a law to nature because nature is not say ah, i die a guy pray that she needs this she needs this oh okay is a law released that is what god the lord is saying is released unto you but you must remain in righteousness, church. It's very, very important. Because if you look at what the Lord is saying about betrothing you, righteousness is key. Righteous living. Living to please him. Not in, in indulging in sin. Not indulging in every evil practice. Tell yourself, God, deliver me from this evil. You know what you do that God doesn't want? When you pray, say, God, deliver me from this. I reject it. I don't want to live this life again. I want to please you all the time. I want to honor you all the time. Thank God our messages and choir administration, praise it. They are on YouTube, they are on Facebook. All the time you are using on your phone to play other things. Go to Christ the Rock Foundation Facebook. Listen to messages. Listen to praises, listen to choir administration, listen. And when you listen, you are blessed. Forward it to other members. Forward it to your friends. Forward the link. Be in an environment of the Spirit of God. In righteousness, he will betroth you to himself. God will make a covenant to betroth you in righteousness. Safety and bring great riches to you. In that betrothment is safety also. You shall be saved in the name of Jesus. That amen is too weak. I say you shall be saved in the name of Jesus. Any evil that may be going on in the land, my God will carry you away from every evil, from every calamity, and you are saved in the name of Jesus. Those of you who are students, many, many, tricky road for students for young ones i decree anywhere you are going any place you find yourself you shall be saved in the name of jesus the hand of the lord will carry you and decorate your lives the hand of the lord will carry you and establish you in your business establish you in the assignment of god listen church the reason why many of us were still at the low level, hey, Father, give me money to do this. Hey, Father, I need money to do this. Is because we have not given attention to the assignment of God. When the assignment of God is so paramount in your heart, that that is what you actually pray about. Pray to be able to reach out to many souls. Pray to be, ah, God, I pray us those who are bound in the, who are in the bondage of, of, of idol worshiping, bondage of sin, let them receive Christ, let them come to the house of God, let them feel the ark of cathedral, so we nurture them in the counsel of God, we nurture them. You are concerned about divine assignment. Blessings will follow you. Jesus told them, he said, ah, ah, all these things, God will 
give unto you. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. All these other things shall be added. But many of us, we don't have time for... How many people came for cleaning yesterday? Let me see your hand up. You see? How many people? Let me see your hand up. Even ministers didn't come. Irania, you didn't come? Shit. Can you imagine? How many of the women came? All the women that came, let me see. Can you stand up? So all these leaders, all these leaders need to be changed. Mommy, I'm changing all this. I'm changing the sister leadership. You can be seated. Thank you. I'm changing the sister leadership. So you didn't come. What are you doing? Okay, okay. I'm changing the sister leadership. You didn't come for cleaning. Who are the people that should come? Okay, I see. God bless all of us that came. And a lot from the choir. Many of the young, the other you didn't come. Seek ye for the kingdom of God. Some people just come on Sundays. You are not, you are not, you've not started with God, though. You've not started with God. You need God to have you, your name in, heaven, in, the, in the heavens register. What did I say? You need God to have your name in his register. Not just when you want to come and collect something. When you want to come and collect some things. Some people don't come for Sunday school. They won't even come for praises. Let them come when that is preaching. We know after preaching, we share lunch with Jesus. <laughs> is that why you are in church? No problem. Lunch with Jesus is for God. Is from God. He's giving everybody. But you need to make a covenant with Him. It is the covenant that guarantees overflow. It is the covenant that guarantees abundance. It is the covenant that guarantees riches. It is the covenant that guarantees riches. Make a covenant to serve him. Make a covenant to stand by him. And he will surprise you with abundance. He will surprise you with abundance. Whether you are women or you are men or everybody, you must tell yourself, I want to please him all the time. I can assure you that word that Jesus said, he says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. All other things shall be added. He's very, very correct. I have tasted it. I have tried it. In fact, I am enjoying it. I want you to seek first the kingdom of God. Seek first the, the assignment of God. Seek to know his ways. Seek to know him. Then you see his works and blessings following you. It's a month that the floodgates are opened and the floodgates are opened unto you. You will not remain at this level by the end of this month. I don't know how God is going to do it, but God, <laughs> my God is a miracle God. My God is a miracle God. He has never failed. He will he never, never fail. He will do what he promised to do. He will do what he says he will do. I can see him walking in my favor. I can see him bringing in my miracles. I can see him fighting all my battles. He will do what he says he will do. He will do what he promised to do. I want you to know God is a miracle God. This year, this month, it will give you overflow. The floodgate of abundance, they are open unto you, unto your business, unto your family, in the name of Jesus. And as the floodgates are open, heaven will hear you, earth will hear you, and the earth will release abundance upon you, in the name of Jesus. Whatsoever you lay your hands upon, if you have been bringing just small, small home, small, small home, trickles home, I command you, begin to possess overflow in the name of Jesus. I command you, your hand will locate treasures of this land. Your eyes will see the treasures of this land. Your hand will pick the treasures of this land. In the mighty name of Jesus. 
you are every struggling that you have been doing i terminate your struggling in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy ghost i terminate every form of struggling i terminate every form of struggling amen. in the name of jesus amen i decree today your children shall be mighty in the land amen. in the name of the father amen. and of the son amen. and of the holy ghost amen. i command that your children shall be children of renown amen. in the name of jesus amen. anywhere you will get to anywhere your children will get to men and women will recognize them amen men and women will recognize you amen did you see that woman that just said that i just saw how who is she we don't know uh -uh. now what well, can you see everybody uh -uh. anywhere you enter large group of people you will be singled out for honor in the name of jesus if you want it your love amen will be the loudest Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. you are singled out for honor. You are singled out for blessing. Amen. You are singled out for abundance. Amen. In the name of Jesus, I command your pocket that sometimes you'll be searching for what to bring. You can't even see good sea. From today, your hand will not reach the bottom of your pocket again. It is when your pocket is empty that's when your hand reaches the bottom. But when your pocket is full of currency, it cannot reach the bottom, you just bring it out. I decree your hand will never reach the bottom of your pocket again in the name of Jesus. Speedily you are promoted. Speedily you are promoted. Speedily you are promoted. I command that to this month, ever we open your eyes, you will see what we make for your good. I said you will see what we make for your good. The decision you will take, the action you will take, that will cause you to be lifted. I command, receive the revelation in the name of Jesus. Receive the revelation in the name of Jesus. The glory of God is released over your life. Father, we thank you because, Lord, this is our month that the floodgates of heaven and earth are open unto us. And, Lord, we enjoy the riches of the heavenly places. Thank you, Lord, for answer prayers. If you are sick, just place your hand wherever you are sick. Or if you have a pain in your body, or there is something you cannot do in your body, Father, we thank you because you are the great healer. Jesus was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. By his stripes we are healed. I command healing over your bodies. Every pain, every discomfort, every arrow of darkness, I pull them out. I return them to send them in Jesus' name. Every pain, I pull them out from your body. I return them to send them in the name of Jesus. I command, I give you communion of the blood of Jesus. You are healed, you are perfectly cleansed. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you Lord for answer prayers. You are here, you want to surrender your life to Jesus. You want to begin to live for him. Just say this prayer after me. Lord Jesus, I surrender to you. From today, I will live for you. Every sin every unrighteousness every evil company i reject them jesus come into my life live with me order my steps from today and forth i will live for jesus jesus thank you because you have answered my prayers in jesus mighty name we have prayed father i pray for all these ones that have rededicated their lives to you and those who have surrendered their lives to you i break the power of sin the power of unrighteousness out of their life and i release them to live right for you in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy
Holy Spirit. I decree shall be well with them. Go and excel. Go and sin no more. In Jesus' mighty 